Hi, it's Mints from My Life Mints. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I wanted to do a Traveler's Notebook unboxing as well as a setup. And originally I was going to unbox this kind of live or, you know, while I was talking, but I just really wanted to enjoy the process for myself. All I did was turn the camera on and um, just sh share with you the unboxing process. But there are times where I just really want to take it all in and not have to worry about um, speaking, <laughs> choosing the right words and things like that. So I decided to just really enjoy this unboxing process for myself and I just kept the camera rolling. So I received this beautiful Traveler's Notebook. This is a limited edition Traveler's Notebook. Um, the I don't know what it's officially called but it's in collaboration with the Starbucks Reserve in Tokyo. It is a reserve roastery I think is what it's called um, but they the Traveler's Company has done a collaboration with Starbucks and there is a special roastery reserve location in Nakameguro which is actually a very short walking distance from the flagship Traveler's, uh, Traveler's Factory store in Nakameguro and I was gifted this beautiful Traveler's Notebook and I decided to really take it all in and just really appreciate it um, so that's why you see me unboxing it without you know me talking. I'm just doing this voiceover later. And it, this is in the brown color. You can see the logo on the bottom right hand side. And I thought I would share with you the other browns that I have just so that you can compare the leathers. This is my original one. The On the left is my original. And you can see how uh, shiny it is and how how it's patinaed over the years. Uh, this is um, It's been in use for several years now. The one in the middle here is the airport edition. I haven't used it as much. You might notice a bit of customization that I, I got done through the Bomb Kuchin site. Uh, but yeah, the original Traveler's Notebook, I found that um, you can see the difference in color there. It's, it's totally, totally different, even though it is all brown color. But when you open the inside, uh, it's, it's quite different. And I think it's with any Traveler's Notebook or any leather, uh, product in general, it's not going to be 100% always consistent or always the same and that's what I love about these Traveler's Notebooks because because everything is so different and you're never always going to have the same one. The one on the left hand side, I thought I would just do a comparison with the Olive just just because I thought I would <laughs> do a comparison. Uh, it's always nice to be able to see the other types of leathers. The one that I'm currently using was the olive so I thought I would uh, share with you the leather as well as take out the inserts from the olive and just transfer everything to the Starbucks Traveler's Notebook and I am taking out the blank insert I'm inserting the craft folder from Traveler's Company uh, the one the item on the right hand side there is actually a leather folder and that's also from Traveler's Company. It's a nice lightweight leather folder that you can keep all your different ephemera bits and stuff in. I also uh, purchased a, a limited edition, Narita limited edition pin and so I decided I wanted to use that for my charm. When you go to the Narita Traveler's Factory shop they have this thing called Gacha Gacha and uh, Gacha Pong, I think is what it's called. And I think it's about $3 and it's um, just limited to the Narita edition or Narita store. <laughs> and if you want to change the backing of it, you can actually change it to a pin or to a magnet. Or in my case, I've changed it with, uh, I changed it to a loop on the back. Here I am taking apart the charm that I purchased from the Superior Labor and I'm trying my best here to figure out how I can take off the loop so that I can attach it to my Traveler's Notebook. So I finally have it off and it's all ready to go. I decided to change up the elastic instead of the brown. I thought I would use the contrast elastic that was included which is the nice bright orange one. So I loop the brass charm and the charm from the Traveler's Factory in Narita and I use, decided to use these two as the charm for this Traveler's Notebook. So out of curiosity, I am wondering, or please leave a comment down below letting me know your must-have notebooks for your Traveler's Notebook. Do you have to have a writing board? Do you have to have a blank 
notebook? Do you prefer grid dot or grid paper, for instance? Do you have to have one of these file folder pockets or um, those plastic sleeves with the zipper on it? I would love to hear your comments down below. I, in general, of course, have to have a blank notebook in there. It doesn't have to be a blank paper, but it could be like a junk journal style type of notebook. Um, I also appreciate having a folder where I can keep my ephemera and little bits of things that I've collected throughout the day uh, that I can journal you know, about later on. So I, uh, in general, I like to have at least one notebook and one file folder or one folder of some sorts in my traveler's notebook. I'm not a person that likes to bulk things up too much, so I try and keep my traveler's notebook quite slender. I, I only usually have one or two blank notebooks in there plus a folder and that's probably as much as I go. So you'll see this beautiful beautiful packaging. I received some happy mail and uh, if I'm, ask, I'm actually going to ask for her permission um, if I could leave her name down below. But it looks like she pressed a flower and some of the petals fell off while I was opening the packaging but it's so so pretty. It hurt me to cut the string right there in the back but I try my best to preserve it as much as I can. It is so so beautiful. I, th I don't remember if I taped this part of it but I actually um, I actually took some packing tape and I sandwiched it between the I sandwiched the pressed flower between the packing tape just so I can kind of preserve it a little bit longer. But she made this lovely Traveler's Notebook insert that you, you just saw. And then this one here that I'm opening up is um, a junk journal, or it's a journal insert, and I've purchased it from Momo Loves Paper, and it includes a lot of uh, beautiful Japanese papers, and I thought I would uh, use these two notebooks for my new Traveler's Notebook. And so it kind of really brings me a lot of joy and enthusiasm, and it makes me want to open this a new traveler's notebook and you can see here Momo included a lot of extra uh, paper bits she's stamped out a lot she's stamped out a lot of uh, these extra papers and you can easily uh, use them for journaling for like like journal cards you can rip them up and stick them in your journal pages as well uh, so here are the beautiful washi papers or Japanese papers in her journal I will leave a link to her Etsy shop below uh, I'm sure you all know Momo loves paper and um, but anyways I will leave her Etsy shop link down below as well as her Instagram if you are not if you are not aware and I am looking through my olive to see if there's anything else that I could use for or that I could transfer it to the the brown I decided to just use the band that was uh, keeping the notebooks together and I'm just taking the middle of each notebook you can see there I'm taking the middle of both notebooks and I'm stringing the elastic through the middle part so it looks like that hopefully it's not too un not too confusing and I'm just sliding it under the elastic of the traveler's notebook just like so and yeah as you can see it's already kind of chunky for me I, I really like to keep things um, very simple and it's not that the overhang bothers me at all it really doesn't I just don't like to have too many notebooks in my traveler's notebook so it looks like things are good I'm just trying to shift things around just so that they fit nicely inside and sometimes the charms kind of flip upside down so I'm twisting the elastic on the back just so that it's easier a little bit later on and I think that's about it I've decided to remove the leather folder and use it for somewhere else and it feels really nice <laughs> it feels really good in my hand this beautiful traveler's notebook I'm very very excited to use I will most likely use it to house my uh, journaling for my trip to Canada back home and I'm very very excited to get started so I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much and I will see you soon bye bye